Adrian Sowerby. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah. Right, Kinski. Recognize. Hi, how are you doing? Yes, sure. I, I, I think I've seen one of those. Thomas? 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 No, but I eat those. Uh, <laughs> no, actually. Basically, I have some other things in here that I know you do like. Oh, well, thank you. So there's thank some you kippers, very much. there's... Uh, kippers? Oh, you're yeah, kidding. Cans of kippers. <laughs> and there's the, the jerky crack snacks. I, I, I love Corey, jerky. I got Corey the, uh, the uh, snack pack. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. This is great. I um, And only because I had heard you stop for cheesesteaks on the way here. Otherwise, I was going to go across the street to the, to the fried chicken place. I was going to get chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but since I heard you just had a cheesesteak, yeah. I decided that you probably already ate No, it. this is great. Well, thank you so much. This probably won't make it uh, to Canada. We, um, <laughs> uh, I, I love snacking. And, uh, it, and the good news is that um, Eric... And Corey are both on diets, so <laughs> somebody got to eat all this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>
Um, it was it was the right thing, hit the spot. I'm telling you, um, I highly recommend gyms. A lot of people sp- sent us in different directions, but I knew that <clears throat> when I was in Philly before, I I was on Sixth uh, uh, Street or sorry South Street, and I uh, I knew absolutely knew that we would bump into it if I just said which one's on South, and it was gyms and it's fabulous. And actually, the store next door the I guess it's a bar right next door. They run back and forth and get uh, Philly cheesesteaks from gyms and then bring them into their bar and sell them there. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, the cheesesteak definitely for me was a high point of Philly. Yeah. yeah. So then after we left downtown Philly, uh, I started driving and I'm paying close attention to the little blue line on the screen. And Sandy sees three little masts poking up from the water, and I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And what transpired there, Sandy? Well, we missed the opportunity. Um, now, Eric is much more into history than um, than Corey is, and he wanted something to do with history. And we saw a clipper. Well, I saw a clipper ship and a sailing steamer, which I've only seen one and that was in England and that was the second one and so I said turn here turn here turn here and Corey (laughs) ignored us and so um, Eric is very unhappy Um, he uh, he's really pissed that he didn't get a chance to see something historic and Corey didn't care he said well I could turn around but I'm not (laughs) But we got to New Jersey an hour and 20 minutes early. How about that? Yeah, but we could have gone and see that, uh, seen those ships. Uh, yeah, this, uh, those ships, they, they're, they're the kind of ships that change the, uh, the whole course of the uh, United States commerce. I mean, really. All right, Sandy, let's and talk about... The- I want to talk some more about these ships. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's that we're talking Keep about? going with the ships. No, yeah. I've had enough. Right. I, Let's I talk about the Delaware Valley Tesla Club. So amazing, um, huge turnout. I'd yeah. say almost equal to the Maryland. Uh, I don't know about that. I, don't know. I think there might have been more there. There was huge. We're not. It was huge. We're not keeping count, but there was a ton of vehicles yeah. there. We were parked behind a Wawa and an Uno yeah. uh, pizza place. Yeah. And there was a lot of nice Teslas there. Uh, someone with a blue one named Corey. Uh, no, Greg, sorry. Greg Hanlon. He had actually added a heads-up display. Yeah. Uh, not a heads-up. Uh, cluster display on his Model 3. and He had done a bunch of mods for it. That was kind of neat to see. Uh-huh. Um, they had set up tents because it, it, it was going to rain. But Luckily, it really didn't, it didn't rain that much. Yeah. No. No, it was uh, there was some drizzling, but that was about it. It was it was I thought it was brilliant, um, and um, yeah, there was a lot of people with a lot of questions. I'm um, I was shocked at uh, at the depth of some of the statements and questions and whatnot. Showed me that this wasn't my average crowd. There was uh, some serious engineering uh, folks in the audience, so a little bit more of a challenge than normal. Um, I think that um, I think that uh, the one thing I, my big takeaway was that these guys are really into it. Uh, the one fellow was I can't remember who it was, but somebody said that um, that they had thousands that they didn't release the information to everyone because they said that there was going to be people driving all over from uh, from the East Coast to come down and there'd be thousands in the parking lot. They used to do it uh, a fair amount. They don't do it anymore. So, but but yeah, it was uh, it was a really really good event, really good. Uh, what else? You know, today, all we've been doing is just driving. There's been no real thrills or excitement here. Um, big thing was uh, I bought three donuts and ruined everybody's diet. So oh. Uh- I also accidentally uh, inhibited my ability to use autopilot. Oh, I yeah. was in yeah. the fast lane on the New Jersey Turnpike in a blue 
M5 came roaring up behind me. I mean, it was probably going 120 miles an hour. I saw it and I needed to speed up to find a place to get over. And while on autopilot, I pressed the accelerator down pretty hard and it did the red, the red face of shame. That's what Sandy says, but the red yoke. And once I finally got over, it slapped me on the wrist and said, you exceeded the speed on autopilot, no more for you. Yeah. Uh, so no soup for me. So on, on the other trip, on the uh, Model 3 trip, I, ac- I actually had done the same thing. And uh, so uh, it slapped my wrist twice. Um, so Corey's only got one so far. But I didn't wreck any rims. So right now, Corey well, is... Uh, yeah, there was the Target in Oregon. You did wreck a rim. <clears throat> the Target? Yeah. You ran over the red curb at the Target in Medford, Oregon at night. Remember we charged there? I don't That's remember where you met that. the girl with blue you're hair. This up. Oh, the girl with the blue hair. I got the pictures to prove it with the timestamps. Yeah. So uh, uh, I'm your external hard drive, Sandy. Well, All I can the remember memories. the girl with blue hair. It scared yeah. made me afraid. But anyway, uh, anyway, the trip's going good. Um, and we're uh, we're now headed for Boston. Um, and that's where Eric is going to depart. He's flying back home. So um, Corey and I will be doing the rest of the trip. Um, through Canada. Through Canada alone. Hopefully we can make it. 